It's Saturday, March 30th, and I'm here at the Ventura Harbor Village in Ventura. And what I'm doing is I'm walking around looking for some painting ideas. So it's a really busy weekend here at the Harbor Village. In fact, I had a hard time finding a parking spot, so I had to park a little ways away. So what I'd like to do is do a painting with some people in it. So what I'm gonna do is walk around and I'm gonna shoot some video. And then the idea is to take a screenshot from the video and then do the painting from that. Otherwise, I might also take a few pictures. So anyway, I'm gonna walk around and see what happens. So I just got done shooting some video and I didn't want to shoot too much video because it takes a while to look through it and find part of it to do a screenshot of to then do the painting of. Now I didn't actually take any photos today and the reason is is because I want to do a painting with some people in it. Now if I stop and take a photograph I can't move the people around or change their location or anything like that but if i'm shooting video then people are constantly moving so i can stop that video in the exact spot that i want to then take the screenshot of and do the painting of and sometimes it's just subtle differences that make a big difference in the composition of the painting So I've already looked through all the videos that I shot and I've already taken several screenshots of different parts of those videos. And after looking at all the screenshots, I finally made my decision as to which one I wanna do the painting of. So I decided to do a painting of Coastal Cone. The part that I chose is actually coming up and it's hard to stop the video in the exact right spot, but I'll try. So right about here. Now I like how the open signs in it. I like how it says coastal cone right here. I like how the big ice cream cones right here. And I also like how this lady's in it and this street lamp right here. Actually, it's more of a sidewalk lamp, but this ended up being the perfect spot that I wanna do the painting of. So it's too late to get started tonight, but I'm still gonna print it out and then I'll get started on it in the morning.
a good day of painting yesterday and my only goal was to do the base coat. And what I did is I kept the paint really thin. So sometimes I do a bit thicker base coat and that's okay for certain types of paintings. But with this painting here, there's a lot of really fine details. So by keeping the base coat really thin and giving it overnight to tack up, today it should have plenty of traction to where the paint's just gonna grab on really good and I can do the really small details and hopefully make really good progress on the painting today. third and I'm about to begin work on the fourth day of the painting. Now something that I'm noticing on this painting much more than other paintings that I've done before is the really strong light coming from this way going this way. Now obviously I've paid attention to the direction of the light on other paintings that I've done but on this one I'm paying extra attention to it and where it's really helping me is as I paint the faces of the people because one side of the face is brighter than the other. And it's actually helping me to define the noses much better because one side of the nose is bright and one side's dark. Now, the thing about painting for me is that each painting that I do teaches me something that I can use on future paintings. So by paying extra attention to the light on this painting, I really feel like it'll help me moving forward to pay a lot more attention to the light on future paintings. So anyway, I don't know if I'll finish today, but I'm gonna get it as far as I can, and I guess we'll see what happens.
some reason, I'm really in the mood to go out and get some ice cream. Chocolate walnut brownie, double scoop. I'm gonna try it out. Oh yeah, really good. Long time since I had a waffle cone. Really good. So that was a great ice cream cone, and it's really nice down here at the harbor today. So I'm gonna walk around for a bit before I head home and get back to work on the painting. up for Coastal Cone. I'd say I'd give it a five-star review, but I don't know if they give ice cream places five-star reviews. If so, then Coastal Cone gets one. And that was a great way to take a break from painting for a little while, just to go on down to the harbor, get some ice cream, take a walk, get a little bit of exercise. And now that I've come back to the painting, I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to make some progress. So you know what I need to do? I need to stop talking and start painting. day five of the painting and at this point it's just a lot of small details so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna record I'll record some of it but other than that I also need to use my phone to take pictures of the painting because looking at a picture of the painting gives me a different perspective than I see by sitting here looking at the painting so what I do is I take a picture of it and then I look at the picture and say okay I've got to fix this detail over here so I'll fix whatever that detail is. Then I'll take another picture and say, okay, I need to fix this detail over here. 
So I'll fix whatever that detail is, and I'll just keep taking pictures and fixing details until I finally get to the point where I feel like I've gone far enough. So I'm just gonna do these last details and then I'll zoom in on it so you guys can take a closer look at it. 